If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey there, fools. T here with another video. And uh, you're looking at a stack of games. <laughs> uh, I wanted to show this stack because this is a stack that I put together for I wanted to do a video a very long time ago. Um, and I put this stack together. And uh, just to let you know, when I did this was before Nintendo's last major direct. So before Smash Brothers and before, you know, the one with Captain Toad and, you know, the ports and stuff. Um, this is before that. This is when I put this stack together. And I'm going to tell you why that's relevant. Because uh, this basically is uh, a stack of games that... I want to come to, uh, or at least um, not all of them, but games that I thought were cool um, to see come to Wii U. Now, obviously, or games I want to see come to uh, the Switch. Now, obviously, um, a couple of these games were already announced. I think Hyrule Warriors was already, and. Uh, uh, that's in Bayonetta, but there's a different reason why I have uh, those in, uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, <clears throat> the reason, let's go ahead and get into uh, what the reasons are, you know, main reasons for this stack. All right, so as I said before, uh, these are games that I want to see back this up a little bit but I want to see uh, come in some capacity to the switch uh, that didn't quite get the shine that they needed and uh, this one here is obviously Paper Mario uh, Color Splash uh, came out fairly late in the Wii U's life cycle um, at this point I don't think many people were paying much attention to the Wii U and uh, this game just got overlooked for the most part, actually, I should have checked to see what the sales numbers were. I'll put them on screen. Um, but you know, this is a really good game. I know a lot of people, uh, apparently, out of the woodworks, Paper Mario fans weren't happy with this. And there's one thing about this game that bothers me. I, it didn't bother me initially, but as it went on, uh, it definitely bothered me. And that is having to use the gamepad. Can you believe that? Yeah. It's not so much using the gamepad, but it's the way the gamepad is used in this game. Where you have to touch the cards to color them and swipe them and all that stuff. Just unnecessary to do it every time. And it's very tedious. Um, but other than that, this is a really cool, beautiful, beautiful game. And uh, obviously, I think it would be better on the Switch. Mainly because uh, unless you use in handheld mode and that they add it in, all that touch screen card swiping and you know throwing your cards out there and coloring them and all that stuff that will be relegated to a button which is what it should be so that's why I'd like to see this game come um, I think it'd be a nice addition to the the switch and I don't a lot of people didn't play it so there won't there shouldn't be any complaining about oh port 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 yes it's a port but a lot of people did not touch this game so uh, like I said, I gotta put the number up. Hopefully, I'm right about that. Uh, I don't think it sold anywhere near a million. So, uh, yeah. So, Paper Mario Color Splash. Uh, next up is my game of 2016, game of the year, uh, Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE. Um, this game is awesome. Uh, awesome battle system. I love the world. I love the characters, um, and it was supremely overlooked. Again, because it came out pretty late. Most people, like I said, had moved on from Wii U at the time. And this game needs, and I believe it will, this game needs come to come to Switch um, at some point. Um, maybe late this year or early in the next year. Uh, but it needs to happen. And it wouldn't be too much, of a, uh, too much work to do. Obviously, there's a lot of gamepad stuff. Um, which is to me was really good game pass stuff. Although there's some people that don't care for it, but I really liked it. 
and uh, I don't think it would be too hard to put a lot of that stuff or put most of that stuff in a menu screen or something like that. Um, and so, yes, this game needs to come to Switch. I think last time I checked, I'm sure it's higher than that, but last time I checked, this game had sold 50,000 copies or something, which is just <sighs> heartbreaking, heartbreaking. So hopefully this does get it port. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I don't even remember why I put this in. Obviously, I didn't put it in because I wanted a port of Mario Kart 8. We had that pretty much, you know, close to launch. So I knew I wanted to talk about this for some reason, but I can't remember. Um, well, I'll just say that, <clears throat> you know, people complain about this being a port, but this to me was definitely a worthy port because they added the battle mode, which is the only reason I repurchased this game. I wouldn't have bought it any other reason. No other reason would I have rebought this game. Um, uh, other than having that battle mode in is something I cried about from the beginning of Mario Kart 8 on Wii U and they put it in for the Switch version and I couldn't be happier it's the only, I don't even race really anymore, I only play the battle mode stuff and uh, which is very cool it's very fun um, and Bayonetta 2 I think I put this here because um, I felt like um, I think I already did a video on it, basically talking about how, uh, yeah, that was the uh, <laughs> my almighty video where I talked about how, you know, people praise this game, they love this game to death on Wii U, and you know, lauded it, and this is one of those, uh, one of those, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, exclusives that really made the Wii U, um, uh, gave value to the Wii U, and I talked about exclusives and how important they were. And uh, everybody loved this game when it came out. Everybody who had a Wii U anyway, and everybody um, who loved Bayonetta really thought this game was awesome. And then the Switch version comes around, and all of a sudden, oh, the frame rate of this game was not very good, and I'm glad the Switch is... I mean, come on, stop. Stop it. Um, I haven't bought the Switch version because there's nothing in it to me um, that warrants me repurchasing it because everything... That comes with the Switch version, uh, I already have. And also, I have a, um, I actually have a physical copy for Bayonetta 1, unlike the Switch version, which makes you download it. So, super lame. And one of the, you know, a few, and one of the uh, couple of reasons I did not rebuy Bayonetta, and I won't until it's in a bargain bin for the collection. So, yeah. Um, but I am glad it's on Switch. Uh, the more love it gets, the better. If you haven't played it, you definitely should have bought this game on your Switch. So, all right, Pokémon Tournament is another game that um, is a port uh, that um, I felt mostly wasn't necessary, but they've added some stuff uh, to the Switch version that isn't in this one. And I think the online's better and things like that. Um, again, I don't remember why I put this in. I know I wanted to talk about it in compare and contrast or something, but um, there's just not enough for me to rebuy this game. Um, and, you know, the overall arcing reason for this video is to talk about ports and how, you know, every port, you know, isn't bad. Every port isn't great. Um, it just depends on the value of the port, especially for you, the consumer. So... If you don't think the port is worthwhile, then you don't buy it. I mean, it doesn't matter to you. And this is a port that didn't matter to me as far as rebuying. Obviously, this is a port that didn't matter as far as rebuying, and this is a port that does. And the other games that I showed you are ports that I would like to see that I will probably buy again because um, I like those games a lot and I want them to do well. And uh, that's that. Now, here's another one. Another port that I doesn't have enough value for me to buy. I mean, they added the easy mode, and it looks a little cleaner, I guess. But this game is already oh, and also uh, the the uh, what do you call it the um, the load times between levels are better. Um, but none of that stuff is worth sixty dollars or whatever it is. Uh, is it sixty or fifty? I don't know. Whatever. None of that's worth it because. And on top of that, if I wanted to buy this on Wii U right now, it's twenty bucks. Um, I already have this one, obviously. I paid 50 I believe, for this. 
And I think, yeah, I think the Wii U or the Switch version is 60 because I'm like, why is it $10 more than its original cost? That's just greed to me. And uh, uh, I don't care uh, to uh, support that or... Um, and that's it sucks because I love this game. This is um, this was my game of the year this year. Um, it beat out Bayonetta two. I can't, well, I guess it was twenty what twenty fourteen. Um, it beat out Bayonetta two for me for uh, Goaty, uh, my Goaty anyway. And uh, it's sad because I want to be able to praise this game. And I, I mean, I've already praised it, but I want to be able to praise the Switch version. And then the Switch version should have been twenty thirty dollars, you know. And I think that would have been better forty tops. But more than what it was originally, and more, you know, thirty dollars to what forty dollars more than the uh, selects version you can buy on Wii U. It just to me, it's not worth it. So, not a worthy port, as far as I'm concerned. But if you haven't played this game, it is a worthy purchase. I, I still think uh, it should be cheaper. But if you haven't played it before, you haven't bought it before, it shouldn't matter to you. I don't think, unless you have a Wii U and you're like, well, I'll just get the Wii U version. So. If you don't have a Wii U, that's the one you get. And again, this is another... I have these two games together. Um, and we knew about how Hyrule Warriors, uh, I believe, by the time I made this stack. <laughs> so I don't not really I don't really remember uh, what this was about. But anyway, um, I this to me is a worthy port. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy it full price. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, but... Um, obviously, this is the Hyrule Warriors for Wii U and uh, 3DS, 3DS version Hyrule Warriors Legends, and they're combining them basically for the uh, for the Switch version. But not only that, they're also adding in uh, Breath of the Wild content. So worthy to me, definitely worthy. Um, if you never bought this, it's worth the price, whatever it is. I think it's sixty, it might be sixty. It's certainly worth sixty dollars because you know these two together. Uh, is a hundred bucks plus, and uh, uh, I'm sure they're cheaper now if you want to buy them on Wii U and then 3DS separately. But why do that when you can have both versions all together on one, and you'd be able to swap, which is the uh, what you could do on the 3DS version. Now you can swap on the the, the console version, so that's very cool. This is a I love this game. This is a really cool game. I like Musu games a lot, and when they combine that with my favorite you know basically my favorite franchise of all time um that's a no-brainer so if you haven't played this or either of these games uh definitely buy it. and you know the 3ds version kind of chugs so for them to be able to add all that content to a console version is dope i'm all for that and this game was put in the stack <laughs> uh before we knew we were at least before i knew well anyone knew that we were getting captain toad for switch and I love this game. I really love this game. Um, I love puzzle platformers. And maybe if you don't, this doesn't matter to you. But I really love puzzle platformers. So um, I think you should definitely check it out if it's a game that you haven't played. And this is a game I just thought made a lot of sense for Switch. Um, wouldn't take a lot of resources. And being able to like you know sw swerve around the map using the touch screen. All that's still there. Um, if you go handheld, obviously, you can't do it. Um, maybe there's some motion stuff. With the, I, I don't really know all the details. So, But I just love this game, and I think more people should play it. And, again, it's viable. It's To me, it's worth it um, because it's a reasonable price. I believe it's 40 bucks again. And they're adding in Odyssey, an Odyssey level, at least. And they're adding in some other levels of stuff, too. It's not just a straight port, um, you know. Uh, so that's cool, and that's why I will have no problem buying this bad boy again. And uh, this is definitely something we did not think was coming, which was, well, we thought, we believed, uh, I, I want to say think, we believed that we were going to get a Smash, um, basically ultimate version of Smash 4, and they're gonna combine the 3DS stuff and the the Wii U stuff, not unlike uh, poke, uh, not unlike um, Hyrule Warriors and Hyrule Warriors Legends, um, but apparently it looks like we're getting a new Smash, so that is very cool. Um, I would have been very happy uh, with them combining these two games and maybe adding some more content in there and fixing you know some online issues. Um, 
I think most people would have been very happy with that. But it looks like we're getting a new Smash, which I'm very happy about. So I don't even really have to talk about this. But So that's cool. But yeah, like, like I said, the overall arcing narrative is that, you know, ports inherently themselves aren't bad. You, you have to look at each port um, on its own. You have to look at them separately and uh, decide the value of it for yourself. You can't just say, oh, a port... In itself is bad because it's not and we're getting new games on switch um, we haven't gotten a lot of um, first party stuff yet this year but that's usually the case uh, for most consoles um, it seems like Sony lately has been putting their first party stuff at the beginning of the year and letting third parties thrive at the end and Nintendo still kind of you know uh, wants that holiday season stuff too so um, they're having to figure that out, but I think, I believe that we're going to get a lot of stuff, uh, in the second half of the year for the Switch, um, especially with the numbers that Nintendo wants to do. Um, Labo isn't that going to do that on its own. Labo will help, but uh, I know there's some pretty cool stuff coming. I can't wait, uh, to E3 this year, because I think this will probably be one of the best E3s for Nintendo that we've seen. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments below. Um, let me know what you think about ports and you think my argument here is valid or you disagree. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching and listening and I'll see you folks next time. Peace out.